Howdy folks, I'm Stash Dad, and welcome back to Cyberpunk 2077. Last time, this guy did some things to us that made me very uncomfortable, and now it's time to leave. Right, let's get out of here. He was a nice guy, he just, uh, shoved metallic objects into my eyeball, and I'm just not comfortable with that. Oh, the kitty's still here, look at that. Hey, kitty. Yes. So that's how we came in. Everybody... I could swear you were a different you were a different person last time. Last time Yes, you were How Oh please be careful. No, please don't do that. Everything sucks. Okay, I'm I'm not going to tell you you're wrong. I'm just going to ignore this situation. Hmm. Your heart chakra looks a little out of whack, babe. I can release it for you, but you'd have to watch out for negative energy fields and avoid mean reds. Anything red. I, what? I can release it for you, but you'd have to watch out for negative energy fields and avoid mean reds. Anything red. You just said that. <sighs> He's waiting in his ride. Uh, you? you didn't say anything there, buddy. Ain't but a hop to where he's parked, next to Gramsci Burgers. Okay, do my best to talk us up. Uh, I don't know what he was saying before that, because there was no audio for me. Oh, I'm guessing for you as well. How's biz, Misty? Booming. Hmm. You're the first person to walk in here for two days, and two days ago, it was a pizza guy. Got lost. People in this town, they've lost their spiritual connection. But well, you know, I'm here to serve them, not the other way around. Oh. Uh, I think you might have chosen a very niche business. That doesn't, I mean, there is opportunity. V, listen, I've got this delicate matter. That's why I called you. The number of cyber psycho attacks in the city is on the rise. Now that's probably not news to you, but this issue matters to me for a few reasons. There are people who say cyber psychosis can be treated. Right. And I know exactly how that sounds, but I believe even an unproven therapy is still better than a bullet to the brain. Well, I would agree. If I get agree. a tip about a possible attack, I'll give you a call. Maybe you can investigate before Max Tack hits the scene. I'll remember, try. you're not there to execute anybody. Try to incapacitate the attacker, and I'll send someone to pick him up. I hope that's all clear. Uh, hmm. There are various ways to incapacitate enemies without killing them. Non-lethal takedowns, non-lethal quick hacks, non-lethal weapons, EMP grenades, and some combat gadgets. Weapon mods that can... Weapon mods that change damage to non-lethal. If a given weapon, combat gadget, or quick hack deals non-lethal damage, it will be mentioned in the description. I... Alright. So we can not kill people. I don't think I've actually killed anyone yet in this playthrough. Uh, let's go to our journal. And this one is the main mission. But we have this, which I don't think we can do yet. Pay, oh, pay off your debt to Victor. No, I, I can't do that. I, uh, I just got in debt with him. Yeah, this is the one that's going to tell me. Wait for lockdown. Okay. So we can't do either of those. I could try to do this. Just to see. Eh, let's do the main mission for now. I did side missions last episode, so I should try and focus this time. Hello, everyone. Hello. I uh, oh, love your pants. They're fantastic. Where are we going? I I think oh geez, okay. Um I think I'm going to be walking most places. Twins again. Uh as I didn't enjoy driving. What's going on here? What's the situation? That city is infamous for its brutality, failing, falling victim to crime. Oh, okay. I 
I wonder who is versus who here. Hello. Oh, thank you. Do I just get in? Yo, Mr. V. A pleasure. Dexter Deshaun in the flesh. Ample indeed. <laughs> Let's roll. Mind if I ask you something right off the bank? Would you rather live in peace as Mr. Nobody, die ripe, old, and smelling slightly of urine, or go down for all times in a blaze of glory, smelling near like posies, without seeing your 30th? Uh, I like this one. You're either somebody, or you fizzle out into nothing. Night City don't let you choose. Oh, but it does. See, in my line of work, I choose to be Mr. Chill. But folk who try to take advantage, well, they see the beast inside. All right, listen close. Scanning a serious job now. Playing gargantuan compared to smashing up a scab home. I, okay. Hang on. I got a question of my own now. Why all this, Dex? Why me? Could have had Jackie or T-Buck sitting here. Could have just done this on comms. Call me old-fashioned, but I like to look anyone I do biz with in the eye. Yeah, I feel like you just had the pleasure of scanning me or something. Past, and sweet T-Bug helped this brother out two years ago. So here we are. Besides all that, got a special little pre-mission just for you. But we'll get to that. All right, Let tell me, me about it. What's the job? There's this prototype tech, a biochip to be precise. Jobs to grab it. Simple. Yeah. Guessing it belongs to a court. Mm-hmm. Arasaka. Oh. Surely that's no problem. <laughs> Corps don't deserve special treatment. Shit. <laughs> you ain't playing around. Got a feeling this could be a start of a beautiful friendship built on heaps of eddies. You work this out? Got a plan? Two things. First, a conundrum with the Maelstrom boys. Needs active resolve in that. Second, a rendezvous. Simple. Client who brought us the job's anxious. She wants to parlay with one of the team. Uh... Client. What's her thing? Why she need to meet? Woman's name's Evelyn Parker. Betting her wasn't easy. Put the word out I was looking for any kind of intel. Right, and? and? Yeah. Some brothers from Pacifica got back to me. Told me to stop looking. End of convo. <laughs> anyway, our little client insisted on meeting someone with skin in the game. You know, who'll be there for it all. And that's me. Yours truly will be remote. T-Bug ain't no people person, and Jaggy's only good at some things. I know you know what I mean. Pretty much leaves you. What's the issue needs resolving with Maelstrom? Got a beef? Slot in the shard. I don't like doing this. Last time it screwed me up. I got a classic tale for you. Psycho Gang doing his thing two weeks back. Jumped a Militech convoy. Got away with the gear. Corp don't even know Maelstrom's involved. Now see, convoy was carrying the flathead, a little combat bot, a prototype. And I need me that bit of high grade military tech. Because if we don't get that bot, we don't get no soccer chip. And we sure as hell don't get no happily ever after. But don't get excited. It's a single use toy. Now, I flat out purchased the damn thing from Maelstrom. Problem is, I did so from a gent went by the name of Brick. I say when, cause Brick was the leader. Three days after we'd sealed our deal, his friend and gangmate one Simon Randall, AKA Royce, plain dropped his ass. Royce is in charge now, and I got no way of knowing if he aimed to honor his predecessor's word. To add to this shitstrom, one Meredith Stout of Militech has developed an interest in said convoy. Royce guy, what's he like? 
A straight psychopath. Chrome-loving kind. Big club in this town. I'll give you that. Except few of its other members. No matter the stakes, would put a friend and associate through an industrial microwave dryer. Apparently, first thing to burst are the eyeballs. Get a nice clear pop. Then the rest goes goulash. Corpo agent, what's your plan at? Hell if I know. Been skidding around town asking after the convoy as if her life depended on finding it. The one lead she's got zip tied in her trunk. Sounds like she was waiting on the transport. Got stood up. Monochrome in the back's probably her chief suspect. Got nothing from him or on him, so she's keeping him just in case. But she needs to find the stolen gear before her boss has learned she fucked up. Well, Mr. V, that is some impressive deduction. Naturally, use that intel as you please. Preferably well. Of course, to do so, you'll need that frazzled cat's info. Sending it now. I think I got everything. Time I got to work. Well, that's just music to my ears. I'll set up the meet with Miss Parker at Lizzie's bar. Flathead, though, is gonna be all you. One more thing, Mr. V. Quiet life or blaze of glory? Hmm? Later now. All right, well, that was an interesting conversation. You know what? Our job's going to be now. Performing certain actions will reward you with street cred. Build your street cred to make a name for yourself in the Night City Underworld. Doing so will open up new opportunities. Alright. Well, I will do that. Hello, Dexter, Jackie. Talk to Dex. <laughs> Gordito's a big deal. Literally at night, yeah. Guy certainly knows how to protect his biz. Wants to put us in a few small kinks. Prep work, I guess. Before lining us up a big job. There's this combat bot, military prototype. Maelstrom clept it. Then Dex paid to take it off their hands just before the gang goons had a switch up in management. I right, heard about that. Royce versus Brick. Hostile takeover. That sums it up. Dex wants us talking to Royce. Gave the deets of some Militech agent too, but... I don't know how much help she stands to be. Ha. <laughs> you don't sound thrilled. Royce, what do you know about him? He's fucking whack something special. Junkie snort junk. Royce snorts crow. Then there's the other thing. Gotta meet the client who put the job on the table. Evelyn Parker. You? Well, what's Dex gonna do? Ride around in his limo, chat chicks up on the hollow? Parker wants to meet someone on the crew. Dex gave me the nod. They must know what he's doing. So, how you wanna play this? Maelstrom or Parker? What's first? Uh, well, the lady sounds like I won't have to do much fighting, hopefully, and the Maelstrom sounds... I mean, if I can get a level or two before I go fight, that sounds like the better choice. You're weirding me out, Parker. Me. I think I ought to see her first. See what she's like, what she's after. What I live. In that case, I'll hit the all foods. Put my nose to the ground. Stick around. Uh, he, he made that creepier than I think it needed to be. Alright, so. Can I do this one yet? Oh, that's still the payoff to that one. This one's the one where I get paid. I need, I need to try to pay attention. I cannot. Uh, I mean, it didn't say anything that it had been lifted. I was just hopeful. Let's go box. How far away is it? Can't see. That's all right. wonder how long of a run it'll be. Mr. V, I just want to remind you... Again, the eddies have already changed hands between me and my esteemed Maelstrom partners and biz around sum of 10,000, what are they called again? Euro dollars, to be precise. So when you're there to take it off their hands, don't let them try to shake you down as they're liable to do, Maelstrom being Maelstrom.
Alright, just 200 meters that way? Let's go box. Are you... Are you air guitaring? Or are you playing a future guitar that is invisible that still makes sound? You have nothing better to do? Well, I'm trying to figure some stuff out. You see, the thing is, I don't know if the game is glitching and you're supposed to have a guitar or not. Your situation just confuses me. I'll say one thing, my nails look fantastic still. Oh, I wasn't... Oh, well. Oh. Um... Shit. Eh. I just spent by it. I'm not part of this. I'm, I'm not. I'm not part of this. Just ignore me. There we go. Uh, there's like a gunfight going on like 50 feet that way. Just so you're aware. You probably should be doing something besides riding that guy a parking ticket. Oh, hey. No, no, it wants me to. Sorry, sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, it wants me to go up that way, then come back. <laughs> Is this... no. It's, maybe it wanted me to go up and come back for a reason. A reason I just don't understand. Okay, this is locked. How... how make fight, friend? Oh! Okay. He was in a hurry. I, I am, I promise I'm trying to go to the fight and I'm not being allowed. Can, that's, that's not even a door. Is this a door? No. Okay. How do I get there? Just follow the yellow line. Go around. Alright, and I just glitch through the wall, apparently. Just glitch through. What can I, like, jump up there? I don't. What does it want me to do? Let me see if I need to. If it, yeah, okay. That's that's good, but what was the text button? Oh, no, that's the car button. I don't need that. I need to get on my cell phone and it was Z, right? Oh, what is that? Oh, J okay, then. Yeah, it's showing me that it's up. Okay, so maybe I go this way. Go around. I think I can get over there this way. And crouch. Okay, good. It just turns out I have to. It's taking place on the rooftop. I didn't understand. I know I'm gonna strike before I do it. Typical. No, I'd say that. <laughs> Here for a fight. Which one of you's my guy? Me. Wasn't expecting uh, a tag team, but whatever, I guess. So, who do I got first? No, no, you don't get it. That body and this one. I'm the same person. So, what? You seeing double? <laughs> I used to be twins, which you could probably guess. The twins had a close bond. They wanted to be closer, stronger. So they installed neural oscillation sinks. So what you're saying is I have to fight both of you at the same time. Me. One, One person, person two, bodies. two bodies. My bodies do everything together. Everything. Yeah. Even cheat. Uh... <laughs> you really do everything together. Even under the sheets. I have one girlfriend for both bodies. If that's what you're asking. Shared between both. So, what? One takes waist up and the other's on booty duty? 
<laughs> no, she's with one body Monday through Wednesday, and the other Wednesday through Sunday. Frick. Ah. Uh, so you, so you're not actually doing. Yeah, it's not actually what you're saying. It is then. Uh, I, how much? Can I check how much money I've got real quick? Let me just see. I've got a uh, nine hundred dollars, so I don't think I'm going to be raising it to two thousand. <laughs> All right. Whatever. Oh, and if another one of you pops up, I don't mind beating a third ass. <laughs> you got a sharp tongue, no doubt about it. Let's see how that helps you when fists start flying. Uh, I don't know. So, can, can we, we get, get started? started? I mean, you're about to cheat, so yeah. Show me what you got. Are oh. better than one, and four fists are better than two. I lost that fast. Again, if you ain't scared. Do I have to pay again? Cause I feel like I was winning. Oh, no. Okay, so I've lost that. Well, that stinks. I guess it fucked you two up. Not you two. It's just me. And we're. There's yeah, it did cost me money. Sheesh. Come back when you wise up. Be waiting. Uh, yeah, I will, uh, I don't even have the money to do that now, so I can't. Uh, I feel like I can definitely win that fight, though, that wasn't too bad. Uh, I had the one, well, I thought I at least had the one down. Uh, how do I put you up? Oh, not that, that's grenade. I just want to put... Okay. There we go. No, I just... Is that... <sighs> okay, well, hopefully it'll go away. Uh, let's see. We did that one, so I gotta make money before I can do that. So I guess we're just going to go... I mean, 6 p.m. and 6 a.m. and it is currently. What current time is it? Blades. Uh, South Cabin. So I think I want another point and reflexes. Eagle Eye reduces time to aim down sight. Which increases damage with rifles and subs. Increased crit chance with rifles, submachine guns. Quick melee attacks with rifles and sub. Um, actually, might go back. Increased damage dealt by silenced weapons. Allow you to perform non-lethal aerial takedowns. Is that all we've got for now? Quite level nine. That's all we can get. Okay. How about, uh, yes, quick hacking. Quick hack still 10% more damage, allows RAM to recover during combat, recover four RAM units every 60 seconds. That sounds good, actually, because that's how we do our hacking abilities, isn't it? Or maybe I should just stick with stealth, even though I don't have anything. Yeah, I mean, uh, the way I plan on doing this is by sneaking everywhere. Hopefully that's going to be something that I'm capable of doing. But maybe let's just hope for a silence weapon as soon as we can. And spend it that way. Because I just want to be sneaky. Uh, yeah, between 6 and 6, but I don't... I don't see... Ah, 6.49 right there. Uh, this is my car. I guess we'll drive there. I don't know how far away it is, though. Yeah. Come on. It's a little, it's a little difficult to see at some points. Uh. 
Okay. Good thing I can just do the sharpest of U-turns whenever I want. <laughs> that was... Oh! Missed it! Sorry! Oh, you're fine. I have money. Well, I'm not robbing you. I'm having a wreck. Oh, get out of the way. See, this is what happens when I drive. See, now everything is just going wrong. <laughs> All right, let's get down here. My car is going to be smashed, I can tell. Well, it, ha it does not stop on a dime either. It stops on like a 12 foot long pole. Why do you want me to turn here? It looks like it's straight on ahead. wait around. Oh, now I've passed it. Right. How, how does, uh, how does parking work in this city? I've not noticed anywhere to do that, so I'll just pull over. Alright, let's, I, oh right, this is the, uh, regular entrance. Last time I took the roof. Apparently everything goes down here. Hello. Been a little put out there, input. Uh, Interest um, you in a preem BD? I what? I this option. Not my first time. Don't remember you. Cause I didn't get in through the front. <laughs> <laughs> get a load of this one. Right. Rules are simple. Someone catches your eye, you do not grab them. You find him in the catalog, ask for a BD, and get yourself a box. No recording, no cop and feels when the guards ain't looking. In you go. Have fun, input. Welcome to Lizzie's. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, beads. Hello. What a sweet little face you have. Uh, thank you. You have nice hair. Where is the... Do you... I guess you wouldn't know where she is, would you? Hello. What do you want, friend? Uh, to find the person I'm here to find. I don't remember her name, to be honest, though. Hello. Apparently she's over in that corner. It's just that easy. I just already know. I think the aesthetic of this club is definitely... It, bouncers have bats. Oh, what's this? So, Slavoj McAllister in the news again. Let's read it. Pompous asshole or eccentric genius, acclaimed rocker boy Slavov McAllister has ruffled feathers yet again following his most recent performance at nightclub Todentans. While a rock concert brawl is no big news in itself, several unofficial sources allege it was McAllister who investigated the violent outbreak after hurling a tear gas canister at paparazzi in the crowd. Before the booze-fueled melee got heated, the... Cartesian duelists premiered new songs, Cybernetic Soul, Mind is Freedom, and Car cogito ergo sum which as usual have critics divided lyrically the new singles touch on issues such as the internal struggle of body and mind the limitations of our senses and the search for absolute truths some critics consider the new material pseudo intellectual drivel others praise the band's fresh innovative spin on the genre beyond the brawl even the McAllister headlines are making headlines when asked in an interview with N54 News what the cryptic title of the track Cogito Ergo Sum meant, the rocker boy replied he ain't revved by questions from gonk-brained frauds. What are you? Despite, or perhaps thanks to, the numerous controversies ever swirling around the Cartesian duelist frontman, his popularity continues to swell. The band's new album is slated for release soon, and if you believe the chatter on the net, it will be entitled War of Truths. That's... Interesting. Hey. Hey. You definitely aren't who I'm here to see. Get you something. Uh. So, curious. The name Lizzie's. Is that the owner? Not for a long while, no. And it's none too sweet a story. 
No. I'm just flat interested. Oh, well, he just Real told Lizzie you. Lizzie ran a strip joint out of this place back in the day. Lizzie's bar. Girls were paid right, insured, and had decent security. Good spot, all in all. D are you implying it's not now? Ah, stories of the golden days. Inevitable demise and the inevitable drink over sweet memories. All what makes the tall tales easier to swallow. So, what went wrong? Tiger Claws shot up Lizzie. Tiger beat one of Lizzie's girls real bad once. No hesitation, Lizzie blasted the guy's balls off. Gang came back the next day. Liz was done. Tigers gave this place up to the Mox in the end, though, didn't they? Sort of. The Moxes had to make a deal with them. Luckily, they kept their heads organized quick. Big boss now is Susie Q. But the sign stayed up, out of respect. Biz booms to this day. Uh. Yes, what do you have? It's on the menu. Uh, all kinds of alcohol, I see. When what do they do? Applies hydration. Hydration reduces movement speed and weapon accuracy. <laughs> all right, yeah, I don't think I need anything from you. That's fine. Um, I am looking, looking for, for Evelyn. Evelyn Parker. You know if she's here. Who's asking? Name's V. She and I have a uh, date. Well, V, it's a pleasure. I'm Mateo. Hello, uh -huh. Mateo. So, Evelyn? Club's big. Gonna have to look around. Can't do it for you. It's all right, Mateo. Just wait for this one. Hello. Uh, do we not talk? Evelyn Parker. Oh. Hi. I knew it was you as soon as you walked in. Why not say hello soon? I wanted to get a good look at you first. Why are we meeting here? Any particular reason? Actually, it doesn't seem much like your thing, this place. Mm hmm. Hmm. I'll take that as a compliment. Come on. No place we can talk where ears won't prick up to listen. Okay. Uh. We'll be in the lounge, Mateo. Anyone asks, we're not here. So, Thank you. What can a Nothing to all like Really? Why don't you just tell me the truth? Oh, after me? Okay. Oh, look. We have. Uh, no, 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 no. I want the. No, I don't want to sit. I want to grab the thing. No, it's fine. What? Oh. I'll just... Dex had a load to say about you. Called you professional. Effective. Yeah. And trustworthy. Oh, I wait. hope you wasn't I think that's covered, sounding. actually. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I haven't worked a lot. Let's just cut to the chase. I'm the best. You don't care what Dex thinks. Uh, let's upsell ourselves. V? I'm good at what I do. Got a solid crew on my back, too. Never once botched a job. You do realize I expect more of you than scraping street corner data terms. Much, much more. I'm the best. And I know what I'm getting into. Dex was clear. The job's high risk. Oh. By the way, you work together long? You and Dex? Uh, no, not really. Just started working with him, in fact. I've heard there are two kinds of fixers. Those with stable crews on long contracts and short leashes. Loyalty and predictability they value above all else. Then there's the other kind. Dex's kind. Oh, yes, what does that mean? Come on. Can't leave that hanging. Headhunters. They lay their trust elsewhere. Not in people, but in a thing. Their intuition. They bet on potential. And if they lose that bet, it's the last mistake they ever make. I'm hoping Dex's intuition has served him well in this case. 
Let's cut to the chase. What do you got for me? Your target. I trust you know what it is. Relic. Secure your soul trinket. Key tech in the program, actually. We're tangling with Arasaka, making this heist one dangerous, risky motherfucker. Mm hmm. Arasaka's poured billions into personality transfer technology. But me, I just want the data on this one. The chip is tucked away inside Compeki Plaza, the hotel. You ever been? Uh. Arasaka seems to have quite the touch with that hotel chain. But I gotta say, Kompeki in Tokyo still leaks above the rest. The two are identical to each other. Japan staff, huh? Oh, service can't be beat. Singapore, Paris, Washington. All the rest act like charity case cousins by comparison. Well, it's hard to argue with that. True. So where's this chip hiding exactly? In a suite on the top floor. The room's occupied by Yorinobu Arasaka. Yorinobu Arasaka, in Night City. <laughs> Guess the scream sheets weren't lying this time. It's on the lips of everyone in the city. Sapuro Arasaka's only surviving son, heir apparent to the Arasaka Empire, in town. <laughs> Please. Could it be? Emperor's prepared to seize his throne after 150 years? <laughs> Doubt it. Only a handful of people in Night City know what the Arasaka's real plans are. Telling me you're one of them? Ooh. Top dog like Yorinobu's bound to have an army on call. Hotel's probably a goddamn fortress by now, too. Yorinobu keeps exactly no hustle around. Not one guard. Got rid of them a long time ago. Huh. Why is that? Surely you know what they say about Arasaka Intel. Sneeze in Night City, and a blossom drops from a cherry tree in Tokyo. Yorinobu was convinced his Arasaka security detail reported directly to his father. So we're not jumping the corp. We're jumping Yorinobu Arasaka himself. <sighs> Yorinobu is a puppet. He lost all his cards years ago when he failed to do daddy's bidding. Saburo's had Yori's balls in a vice for years. He might just turn the screw and crush them outright if he learns his son's up to no good again. Even so, it's still Yorinobu fucking Arasaka. <laughs> Look, if you've got any spare aces up your sleeve, now's the time to show them. Now this should make your prick perk up. Yorinobu recently swiped the chip from an Arasaka laboratory. He's made a deal with Netwatch. Aims to sell it to them. Have you spotted my ace yet, or do I need to spell things out? So what's your Nobu do to walk away with? Unimportant. You focus on the biochip. What could oh. Cyberspace's watchers and protectors offer him? Intelligence on his enemies? That doesn't matter in the least. Because you'll make sure the transaction never happens, and I get the chip. And, uh, well, unless the transaction is never going to happen because it's fake. Nope, don't buy it. Now watch his integrity rests on their neutrality. Why would they tarnish their rep by procuring stolen goods? Netwatch provides net security for all corporations. And collects eddies in the millions for it. But, in this day and age, everyone's in the game. And no one can afford to be a saint. To win, one has to go all in. Fine. So no Arasaka security on the device, because Yorinobu whisked it away in secret. Now, where's he hiding it? Well, likely in a specialized container. One that mimics an organic neural environment. On the outside, it looks like an ordinary briefcase. Oh, and you're saying the on the inside is the brain? You'll see for yourself soon enough. Provided we're done gossiping about the Arasakas. Uh, Heard a bit about Yorinobu. Study finance and biotech in Tokyo. Probably to please his father. Mm-hmm. Saburo was grooming him to be his successor. But then Yorinobu cut himself off from the corp. Joined the Steel Dragons, nomads from Tokyo. Heard they were planning an Arasaka coup, or its downfall. Hmm. 
That flash of youthful rebellion ended like it usually does. Yorinobu returned to the fold, but the bitter taste remained. You know your stuff. But that's only one side of him. There's another. An intelligent man who has his own designs on the corp. Mm. Seems to be risking everything with this relic scam. Yes, because he's fallen for the biggest lie this town puts forward. That he can gain and retain control of anything. One more thing. Data that's on the chip. What is it? Irrelevant, entirely. We're talking about data Yorinobu snuck out of Arasaka. I don't like What's that you more? get to decide what I think is relevant. Watch. Sounds pretty damn relevant to me. Listen, V. The relic. That's my concern. Your concern? Earning a paycheck. Just get the job done. Uh, I'll make sure your bank accounts are sated. I don't like jobs like this, though. Okay. What's next? Now comes the best part. Follow me. Got something for you. Should help you plan. Brain dance from Compeki Plaza. How's a brain dance supposed to help? <laughs> In fact, not thrills. I think BDs are only good for fondling virtual tits, mm -hmm. jacking off to in those yeah, boxes. Yeah, yeah. Um, no. It can be a very useful tool. Good for analyzing details, human perception, even boosted. Doesn't grasp exactly what you Hello. need. So what's on the tape? Yorinobu's suite. The glorious interior. Uh, You'll need to locate the relic yourself. Hope I grabbed enough detail to make that possible. Hold up. Mean to say you recorded this? Mm-hmm. BD rec implant. Why, you object? Supposed to be Yorinobu's pad on the tape. Means you were inside. You know each other? How else could I get all this intel? I know him pretty well, actually. We have an arrangement. Strictly business. Suits us both, I think. Let's see this brain dance. Mm -hmm. Judy will help. She's a mox, too. Besides, we go back, uh, years. Uh, I'm sure hey, that's good for you. This is important. Okay, then. Judy's always been there for me. Always helped out. I trust her. That's fantastic But she's for a you. mox. Not the latest member say, of your crew. Week, for sure, okay? Try not to forget. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, right, you'll be right, a good right. boy, tread lightly, mm -hmm, and keep right. that tongue on a leash. Um, Relax. just because you trust not, someone I'm doesn't mean I do. Intact. In biz or life. <laughs> she wants you to feel like you're an asshole, so... <laughs> hey, there you are. This is V. He's here for that BD role. And V, this is Judy. Best brain dance editor I know. Enough already. Gonna make me barf. Uh, should I step back? Impressive looking setup. Need all this to process brain dances. Mm hmm. Analyzers, sensory SIG amps, acoustic and emotive wave monitors, facial expression translators. <clears throat> Judy. Huh. All right, all right. Compiled your BD, Ed. What do you think? Will it do? Still pretty raw, but yeah, ought to do. Mm-hmm. V needs to get deep inside. That's most important. So, let's calibrate. Tune it to him. I d oh, you, you walked through me. Believe me, I've dealt with worse. You should see the jig jig street porn we gotta contend with sometimes. So, we drop V inside. Let him look, let him rummage around, right? How about a V? Raw brain dance. Uh, yeah, Ever sure. A dip before? I don't even know what that means. What do you mean by raw? How's this differ from the ready mates? Huh. Ready mates, provided they're well made, should feed you feelings and impressions you'd never have the chance to experience yourself in real space. But it's mass market shit, so it's pre crafted, hard coded fenced in and manageable a raw one well it's more like a virtue in viral get to move around look at things in detail editors use those layers to fish for juicier emotes and impulses then use them to pad the bds that go to market sit down settle in and 
we'll get you going. Where do I sit down? Ah. Fantastic. Alright. Good. Uh, just please don't walk through me again. Uh, it seems this is going to be a recurring theme in this game, getting into like an operating chair and having people come up to your face and do things towards your eyes. Is this 2077 VR headset? Gotta create your sensory profile first. A what profile now? A model of your perceptions and emotional responses. Need to adjust that so the raw BD won't overwhelm you. If I don't, best case scenario, you'll get nauseous as soon as you're in. Probably barf like you would in a shoddy virtue viral. Mm-hmm. And worst <laughs> case? Your synapses sizzle like locusts in a deep fryer. Uh... But we're not about to let that happen. <laughs> oh, good. That's not okay. what I want. Hit me. Just promise me it won't hurt. It won't. You... Not this time. Now sit still, look at me. Gonna run the analysis soft. Should feel a slight tingle. Mm hmm Okay, now let's set the optics and other sensory sigs. Look smack into these two screens. Pretend it's an eye exam. Get a lot of requests like this? All the time. But it's usually stuff the girls scroll at the club. I take that and do some routine porn to me. Crank up the orgasms? More like cut out all the other shit. Fucking's business as usual for these guys. Their minds wander to grocery lists, spouses birthdays, late bills, whatever. But even then, you can refigure things, mold the emotions into something unique, unforgettable. So, I can't complain. One more sec. Need to get the pain receptor limiters in. Okay. All set. I need to test your profile first. Tossing in a sample BD. You can use it to get to know the editor. You are now moving around see. a lot. Where could we... Your nervousness is making me nervous, just so you're <sighs> aware. he just use my recording? Why are we wasting time? So we don't risk our necks? Besides, you take a sec. Got something here. look a lot like the girl that I saved but with hair. Like a lot like her. What'd you choose? Corner store hold up in Haywood. Real amateurs. Don't even know where I got it. Suits our needs perfectly though. You ready? Um, sure. Yep. Mm -hmm. Let me give you the tailored version first. Let you get your bearings. Then we'll jump into editing mode. Be diving in in three, two, one. I have no idea what's happening. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. And remember, everything on full blast. They'll spot us extra for a wicked adrenaline high. Okay, on you go. Okay, so I'm not in control Down. of this. Everybody! On the ground! What I see you kissing the flooring! Money! Now! Or I will fucking drop you! I swear to God! Whoa! Yeah! Uh, uh, now! Before I blow your fucking head off! Oh. Ah! Slow, deep breaths. Your cortisol and adrenaline spiked, but the soft activated your hormone blockers. Nothing happened. You're alive and well. <laughs> that flash of intense shock. I can still feel it, I remember. Fuck, that last second. You could have warned me how much it hurts to die. Trust me, real death hurts much, much more. Uh, how sure would you that? know? You'll be fine. Have you everything set up? Died? Switch over to editing. Is she a ghost? No, is she a ghost? Okay then. I'll sever the link to the BD roller's sensory array. You'll be able to look around freely. Whole oh. scene's yours. 
full cam control and analysis mode. So move around, zoom in and out, whatever else you come up with. Think of it as your own little sandbox. So analysis mode, you control playback. Can even pause when you feel the need. Then you use the editor console to unpause. Try it. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. Dream as hell, right? Well, that's not all. You can speed things up or rewind, whatever you like. Okay. Give it a try. Rewind. Roll it back to the top. All good. Neat. Now try fast forwarding a bit. Uh, e. Uh, no. Okay. You can also reset the recording. That'll take you right back to the beginning. Try it. Now for some fun. This here's why you came in the first place. In analysis mode, you get to view and even scan details of the enviro recorded by the BD roller. Focus on the heat. The gun this gonk gets from his buddy at the beginning. Now scan it. Uh, let's see. Plan simple. Do not. Nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. No, no. And remember everything on full blast. The extra of the On you go. Okay, right here. Uh, let's see. Bold sections on the track indicate a scannable clue. The clue will be highlighted for the duration of the sequence if the editor is set to the correct layer. Clues may overlap each other. The spot where they overlap on the recording track will be easily will be especially bright. After being successfully scanned, clues disappear from the track. Uh, Excellent. Let's move that on. One. Okay. Now heads up. In analysis mode, you can ferret out background noise and conversations if the roller got close enough. This tech records everything, every little detail, even the sights and sounds the roller was never aware of. To see the sources of the recorded sensory signals, switch to the audio layer in the editor. Go ahead and try that now. Okay, good. Now you should see several sound signatures in the store. Choose one and hone in on it. Sound signatures in the store. All right. How about this one? Pack of six, case of rosehip, and a couple of zappers. Okay. We have a deal today on two flavors: cutty and yeah. serpent. Everybody. So, any thoughts? Unbelievable. Seriously, like what's happening right next to me. Yeah, it's how BD recording implants work. They pick up everything, all the elements in the background. Then an editor tweaks them, makes them pop. Keep playing with the sound, explore it a bit. We'll move on when you get bored. Okay, uh, well, I believe I saw another one, didn't I? Uh, maybe not. Well, I thought I saw another one. Is that all, really? On the ground! You wanna see your kids in the flooring? Money! Now, or I will fucking drop well, Actually, your let's go from the beginning. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. And remember, everything on full blast. They'll spot an extra for a wicked adrenaline high. Okay, on you go. Okay, fuck! On you go. Ah, little shitheads. Go restock. I'll take the register. How about you suck a bag of dicks, eh? Hey? <laughs> This. Analyze extra layers in the raw stuff the rollers cyberware picked up. Like what? Ev's got Kiroshi optics that grab infrared, meaning you should be able to grab heat signatures from her recording. Huh, hella nice. Now let's wait till the guy punches out the gun at the counter. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. 
You go in, yeah. On the ground! You wanna see your kids in the flooring? Money! Scanning works on peeps, too. Walk up to the wounded chick. Try scanning her. All right, next thing. Scroll forward to the part where our artist gets a lead injection. Now, or I will fucking drop you! I swear to God! What? No! 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 About right here. See that? They shot him and he never saw it coming. But you will. Here it comes. My favorite part of the game. Uh, um, See the okay. blinking thing over the entrance? Surveillance cam. Oh, yes. Must have caught our shooter. You'll see in a sec. Cam feeds to the screen behind the clerk. Roll back to where the screen's in the kid's field of vision. Then scan it. Didn't mean to do that. This one, right? His own chumba shot him. Probably planned to all along. Must have got a nice slice of cred on the black market for a BD like this. BD freaks are ready to pay a preem for a real flatline. Anyway, if you've seen enough, you can exit. Are you saying people pay to experience death? Yeah, it's impressive, right? It's too bad most of the BDs we do here are only good for flogging the log. Anyway, you ready to do um, this? Let I would break? prefer those over no ones way. that make me feel like I'm dying. Let's take a break. Still feel like that kid when... Yeah, I think I'm done. V, there's no time. Get it together, please. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Just need T-Bug to link in. Whoa, 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 who? Running for my crew, security specialist. She'll tell me what to look for while we analyze. No problem, I hope. Actually, it is a problem. Not what we agreed, Ev. Judy, T-Bug's a professional, discreet to a fault. You can trust her. Why? Because you say so? Uh, Please, yeah, Judy. I'm the one that's being hired to do the job, so yes. I'd never but... expose you to any danger. You know that. Okay, V. Call T-Bug and you'll die. Hey, V, what's happening? Bug, listen. I got some useful footage from Compeki Plaza. It's a brain dance. Compeki? Oh, thought as much. Someone there with you? Uh, let's not give their names out. Please focus. Need your help. Got no clue what I'm supposed to look for once I'm in. All right, see if I can walk you through it. Jacking into your tech now. Mm, you've got to give me access. Opening port 1779. Secure protocol? Good, I'm going in. Should be getting my request now. Got it. You ready? A millisec. Okay, connection confirmed. Now some quick tip ice, and we're clear. Ready to dance. Fire up, Judy. Alright, V. Eyes open. Gotta find out where your know who's keeping the relic. All right. This should be fun. Oh, jeez. You look like a cut of fuckable meat, are you? Evelyn, she... I felt her fear. Sure got it under control quick, too. I said, no. They'll have my head for this. Then, you shall perish for good cause. Vision, there's something I can visually scan. Let's see. It'll probably be this guy. Yep. Uh, is that what I had to scan? Oh, no, nah, here we go. We have several things we can visually scan. Motion sensors, camera. Shit, camera's packed with new tech. 
Motion sensors, heat sig activators, IFF. You skilled enough to kill it all? Mucho more than enough. Just need access to their subnet. Okay. That's sounding like it's good. This is the alarm system. Alarm firmware's fresh, but saw excited birds chirping on a BBS. Something about lots of seeds falling to this sieve. Let me generate keys. I can forge their six. Okay, okay then. You look like a cut of fuckable meat, are you? I said no. They'll have my head for this. Then you shall perish for a good cause. But uh, make yourself comfortable. I need a minute to finish. We shall see soon enough. My father is a tired, visionless old gray beard who thinks nothing will change and he'll live forever. I'm going to do the whole thing in her POV bubble. and then go back and scan the clues and such. We'll listen to this. Sabro is an adult desperate. Wow, champagne's decent. Removed from reality. Taste boosted somehow? Stuck in some <laughs> fossilized vision of a world Same bubbly, you'll that be no longer in real space exists. Soon of a world that may never have existed. We have not seen eye to eye for the past 20 years. I am quite sure we want now. Noted. In mm, hung up. Go back to when they first start talking. Need to hear the whole thing. Uh, do I have to? Can I not just uh, watch this? Sorry to make you wait. Business can be stupid. Hmm. It wasn't long. Not even long enough for me to grow bored. Is everything all right? You seem tense, edgy. A moment. It will pass. <sighs> I can get to work on that. Just one condition. You wish to make demands of me. Only one. Focus. Oh, got any candy left? Stuff was pretty fun last time. Bedroom, nightstand. I've got an idea. Be right back. Ooh, the romance. Very nice. But come here oh, already. Warning, scam Just alert. Just a sec. I get the same email. Ah, oh, you'll like. Okay, so let's restart. Okay, gotta hold it. Okay. The next thing we're going to need appears to be on the audio level. How do we switch those again? Left shift. You look like a cut of fuckable meat, are you? I said. No. They'll have my head for this. Then, you shall perish for a good cause. Here in a drone. Ventilation and cooling? Servers. Gotta be. Fancy doodads in here need to be controlled. There's but something make else. Comfortable. I need a minute. Okay. I need a minute to finish. The program is still needed. in the trial phase. We cannot take it to market as is. We we'll shall see soon enough. Please speak with your father. He's taken a particular interest in this project. He can certainly explain the risks. My father's a tired, visionless old gray beard who thinks nothing will change and he'll live forever. This is interesting. This is very Batman. Up. I didn't expect this I to not be happening in this such game. Things. You will listen to this. Hmm. 
It was a long. It doesn't look like I got anything on the track until up here. Focus. Uh. Oh, got any candy left? Okay, so there's something I can scan. But, uh, I, 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 oh, didn't mean to unpause it. Oh, aha, there we go. Automated turrets, oh, latest geez. scanner model. Systems all connected to the server. Can you shut them off? Externally, no way. Gotta get in, check out how they link into the system first. Mm-hmm, looks like all their security systems are linked to the hotel subnet. We need the flathead. No other way to shut down these systems. Can't uh, get around them ourselves? Nope. At least I'm fresh out of ideas. Right. Yeah, this... which is... oh, it's a gun. That apparently Loaded. I can't scan Safety's now. Safety's on. Good to know, though. Once you're in there, don't forget about that iron. Okay. Right, so it's just showing me he's got a gun. And this one can't be scanned. Okay, it can. It just only it, Manual the right a special tip perfect pixel. Container. Relic needs to be kept real cool. So chips got to stay in the freezer. Yep, could damage it otherwise. Okay, switch on thermal layer detection in the editor. Should uh, be easier to spot where your Nobu's keeping the chip. Should it? Ah, oh, you'll like this. What's All right, so I'm supposed to be able to see it somewhere here. Um. Ah. No, this is. Just an AC unit. Air conditioning, standard model for hotels of this caliber. Temp matches that stipulated in the docks, but no way the chip's hiding there. Too risky. Temp fluctuations, risk of damage. Okay. Okay. There's some. Up. Oh, got something over here. Right. Grab the heat sig. Matches the spec in the docks. Yorinobu's got the case here, guaranteed. Mm-hmm. We've got it. Good work. Looks like we got everything we need. Awesome. Quit out of the editor. Get everything you need? <sighs> yep. That'll do. Thanks, Judy. We got it. Later, T-Bug. Nice work today. See you soon. Oh, thank you. I wiped the cache on your data. You were never here. I'll put it on Ev's tab. Portable device for handling BDs. I already uploaded your calibration settings. Not as sophisticated Thank as what you. we got here, but should do the trick. And it keeps you out of harm's way. Clever. Speaking of harm's way, know what I see looking at you? Uh, talking, talking corpses. Oops. Relax. I got it all under control. If you fuck up and they come knocking on my door, Judy, you'll what? blame her, and not me. Not gonna happen. Evelyn, please, no shortcuts. Uh, you go that route, city will always win. So be careful. I don't disagree with her. Of course I will be. Besides, we'll talk in a bit. All right. Well, I guess I'll follow you then. All right, folks, that does it for this episode of Cyberpunk. I sure do hope you've enjoyed it because I have. That was interesting. I didn't expect there to be like a Batman detective scanner element to this game. So that's going to be fun. Uh, if you have enjoyed it, go ahead and click the like button. If you want to catch the next episode, go ahead and be sure to subscribe. Remember, a stash isn't the hair on your lip. It's the source of your power.